morning to this beautiful crowd, all these special women, and uh, more than a few distinguished men. Um, I would first like to thank the Art of Living International Center for providing us with such an amazing opportunity to discuss and learn and connect in such inspiring surroundings. It's a true honor to be here, and as a rather inexperienced speaker, um, I have to repeat what Ronnie Newman said in uh, Friday's panel, which is that there's a very special feel about this place and what it does to the people here, which makes this a very welcoming and comforting crowd to speak to. So, thank you. <laughs> um, now, I would like to address one of the thoughts uh, that was mentioned in the introduction, namely, um, were core values and spirituality ever out of fashion? And I would say, no, I believe not, but I think that the way that they are communicated and thereby understood that's what's changed in today's society. So that's what I want to talk about today, as well as gender equality as a core value and the challenges facing spirituality today. So when we think about it, throughout history, uh, core values and spirituality has been something that's been instilled in us through our closest relations, like our family, our friends, and our communities. But I believe that in today's globalized community, core values are going to emerge in a completely different way and they're therefore going to play a completely new role. Why? Because never before have we been able to connect so closely, so fast with people so far away. And in this digital age, we increasingly have access to the same content and the same ideas across the world. So for me, the question is, how is this going to impact future generations? How is this going to impact my generation? And are there any aspects of core values and spirituality that are constant through time, or do they adjust to our circumstances? Because in today's globalized world, uh, we have platforms that have the potential of bringing people, and especially youth, together across all boundaries. Acts of kindness in one corner of the world can be instantly shared, viewed, and inspire similar actions in another place and social movements that bring relief and tolerance and generosity can spread like never before. So therefore, the internet and social media and everything that comes with it provides this opportunity for us to stir feelings for humanity far, far away and can act as a reminder of our core values and our spirituality. Um, and I would like to use one example uh, of the way that these platforms can be used to reinstate core values, and it can be seen through the fundamental core value of women's empowerment and gender equality. Because, as we've seen in the recent months, through social media movements using hashtags such as Me Too and He For She, women's role and their challenges and their potential um, is subject to discussion like never before. And I feel that we're now entering a generation where we expect that women's empowerment is seen as a fundamental value in our society. And I think that we then should expect to see that um, gender equality is understood as a fundamental core human value. And this clearly shows uh, the power of the new world we live in and what impact it can have on our human values. Um, because I'm born and raised in Norway, which ranks as one of the most gender equal um, societies in the world. Um, I mean, however, we far away from reaching perfect gender equality. We're getting there. Um, but I think that because of these globalized networks and shared platform, I believe that the progress that we've been making in Norway can easily, much more easily spread to the rest of the world and benefit women across the world. So I think this is a very exciting and important development. Um, and I just want to conclude uh, by talking a little bit about the challenges related to the impact of social media and interconnectivity um, on values and spirituality. Uh, because at least for my generation, there's a very vast volume of messages out there today. And I feel that there's this danger of the meaningfulness of different values to get lost in all the noise. Um, I've all experienced that there's this peril of being um, overwhelmed and not being able to make sense of all the values that's you know, floating all around us. And, uh, having and establishing a meaningful relationship to values and spirituality. Uh, because today's endless possibilities and all these different channels we're getting all our impressions from, it allows us to kind of 
shop and choose between different values that resound with us. Um, and in the same way, I feel that spirituality stands in the danger of sometimes becoming superficial because it might develop, at least in my part of the world or in my country, uh, as a shallow fad because celebrities do it, because it's cool to meditate, because spirituality is in the moment. Um, and that's when it's really important uh, to remember that true spirituality can only come from within, but in today's society, it's really not a given. And that's why I think that this inherent sense of human value is, is particularly relevant today. And especially for my generation, it's really important to try to take a step back and shut out all the noise from our really digitalized lives and try to reconnect with our core values without thinking about what's trending globally or what our friends are doing or what's being told us. Um, but I really think that acknowledging this will be one of the greatest challenges facing um, the coming generations because in a hectic society where everything is available instantly, we all become very impatient, we become very restless, and these aren't very good conditions for getting enough space for our values to guide us. Um, and today's society it tells us a lot about um, who we should aspire to be and what our values should be, and therefore I think it puts a lot of pressure on a very personal process and kind of might distract us from connecting to ourselves. So in conclusion, I think that an awareness of this um, is essential if we are going to be able to maintain the authenticity and the relevance of our core values and spirituality. And social media can both, uh, social media and, and the way that our world is developing can both undermine and support this development. Thank you.